Hello, it's Tristan here from Zebra Invest, and today I'm here with the one and only video you've been waiting for, the plug-in battle. So if you're in property, chance are you are searching through Rightmove Zoopla on the market, but you should be, if you're not already, using a plug-in. So what do I mean by a plug-in? There's plenty of them out there, but what you can do is if you are using something like Google Chrome, you can use a plug-in alongside your search to be able to help add a little bit more data, a little bit more into information to be able to work out if a vendor's motivated to sell, if they've already reduced the price, a little bit of data about the area, get a valuation and work out from there to be able to spot those little diamonds in the rough. So we're going to go through five different plugins today and I'll show you what they do and how they work. I'm going to start off with Property Log as the first one, then over to Property Tracker, which I have used for years as a quality piece of kit. Um, over to Address Helper to see how that might help for you. And then we use Prop Bar and Property Data. So you can jump straight to the end if you want to, to see what those guys look like. But these first ones are all the ones that are free, easy to use, and you don't have to sign up for. The ones at the end are the premium ones. So let's go head over to Google Chrome. I'll show you each of the plugins and how you can get going. So here I've got property log engaged and up and running. All you've got to do is search your area and jump in. What it's going to do with this is going to tell you the price history of a property, how it's moved, where it's been over time, if there's been any history with it. So you can see here, it gives you the original asking price. And you can see it as you go through, it says if there's any changes, any drops, anything else like this. And it's quite useful because it's going to be able to help you point out if you understand if there has been a price drop, what you might be able to do if there is any initial motivation there. The only thing with it, as you can see, is it's rather clunky. Um, it kind of covers up a lot of the page. It's not really easy to see roughly what's going on, but it is a neat little piece of kit. It's completely free. All you have to do is go to Google, search property log. You can log in and download it and then just start using it. Unfortunately, it only works on right move, not on Zoopla or on the market. So there you go. That's um, property log ticked off. Let's now jump in and show you what property tracker looks like. So it works exactly the same if we head into right move and we're looking around the area. But instead, what it's going to do this time is it gives you a nice little easy interface to see. So you can see you've got these little dashes. That means the price has stayed the same. Or you can have a little price, a green price. That means the price has dropped. And it's quite useful because you're able to see all that side of things. It also works as well if i'm right off the top of my head if you want to find rental data so you can again see where the property price had moved on this which i think makes it a bit more of a useful piece of kit um, it should also come up on here and then you can see here where the old rental price have been in the past how it's moved up or changed over history and that can be quite useful if you're trying to see if someone's motivated what you might want to do and how you might want to work and if you especially if you're doing say like a rent to rent then that could be a neat piece of kit there as well property track is the favorite piece of kit that i've been using for free for a long time i've got it all set up in the background and it's really good for just being able to see what's going on so that is property tracker now on to the next one so this time i'm over to the address helper so what i'm going to do instead i'm going to stick in a single postcode i'm going to look for houses because i know houses are going to be the easiest thing to work for and look through and what we're going to be doing is going through and trying to find properties to work out their actual full property addresses i haven't used this one before so it's going to be interesting to see what it pulls up and how it does it um, I think when I clicked in and had a look at the information before, it did suggest that it's going to be using some of the sold data to try and work out which one's which. So I'm just opening up a few here to see what comes up. So you can see it's come up right there. It's coming up with the size of the property, the EPC rating, and the address of the property, which means it could be quite interesting if you're trying to dive into an area, do some direct vendor marketing to try and target people. I think this is quite, as you're looking at it, quite unintrusive piece of kit. It could be quite useful if you're using it alongside property track to see how prices have moved and then be able to talk straight to an agent about property. Again, here is worked out that property address there and its energy performance. And you see this one's listed with two agents. So it picked up both of those. Another one. And this seems to be really actually quite a useful piece of kit and something I'm probably going to keep hold of now. And um, so you can go through and do it all on that. I'm pretty sure this only works for Rightmove because it's called Address Helper for Rightmove, but that's been the same for Property Tracker and Property Log. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump over and show you something called Prop Bar. Prop Bar, I've been at loads of advertising online recently. So I'll log in and I'll show you just how that works. 
So now we're on to prop bar. And this is a really interesting but quite new piece of kit. So the idea of this is it logs in and it gives you a whole over overlaid data and information about a property in an area. Uh, that was quite an interesting property. And then what you can do is say, for example, we clicked into this townhouse in Thorpe. Uh, what we can do instead of just looking at it as you usually would, is you can turn around and use prop bar that comes up across the top here. What they do is it's a free plan, but you can then upgrade to prop bar plus. And then what it does is it uses, you know, only gives you a certain limited number of searches. Each search is every time you click through this information. So if we click summary up here, it's going to tell us any of the detailed planning constraints about that property in the area. So if you are doing a lot of digging, a lot of research to understand a property and what's going on around there, it can be quite useful. It can also do a uh, market history. So what we can do here is you can see any history of the property in the past. When it's been previously been listed for sale, you can see from 2014, how it's all the way worked all the way up to here to 2024, which agents have previously had it on the sale, how much they've all had it on the sale for. And then you can also, as you work through and you'll see as I'm clicking through, it's charging you each time for, oh, this actually hasn't done it this time, for a little bit more information. So you can see any comparables in the area um, and you can see, you know, say, for example, these are all four bedroom properties, how many bathrooms they've got, how big they are to see, roughly how much they're on the market for, how much they actually previously sold for. So then roughly work out what a property is worth, which is quite useful. Uh, it's not immediate, but it is quite useful. And you can dump into there. It's a ton of information going on there. You can also get the energy performance certificate straight away. You can see any information in detail about the property, which would have come from, I imagine, from open data. And then you get demographics for any information about the area. So who's living around in the area? What type of tenants are there? And you see most of this area is rented and most of the properties are one beds. You can get all the culture, various different bits to be able to dig into this. And it's quite good for analyzing. So as you can see, this is a really quite a cool, prop is a really quite cool piece of kit for being able to analyze a property once you've found one. Not necessarily, I'd say, for trying to find a good deal, but it's certainly going to be a useful piece of kit to, piece of kit to have running alongside, say, something like Property Builder or Property Data. If you're hunting for deals on that side and then want an extra data layer for analyzing and getting into a property. Prop bar is also excellent. As you can see, it jumps on and works straight away with other platforms like On The Market and Zoopla as well. So you can click in, you can get the same level of data and information to then work through a property and see what's going on. So it's a great tool to have up your sleeves whenever you're going through to try and summarize and analyze a property. So now for the grand finale onto property data. And this is a platform that works everywhere, a bit like PropBar, but instead is helping you kind of accurately work out what a property is worth, jump in and analyze with a bit more data. And I know there's quite a few of you out there who are simply using property data and have the base subscription just to be able to use the plug-in each month. So I've just jumped in Florence Road and I'm going to just show you, give you an idea on another one here as well. But you can jump into any of these kind of properties. And what it's going to do is first thing it's going to do is on the right hand side, it's going to pop up and give you the um, postcode of the property. If it can, it also returns the full property address. So that ticks off. If you, if you think of using the freebie ones and get address helper, this already ticks off having uh, the address helper that's already in there. Um, again, with property tracker or property log, this is already tracking all of the prices on those properties, whether they've moved, whether they've jumped up and down. Give you an idea for a bit of a background of what's going on in the area in a small, simple and easy visual form as well. It's also telling you anything about the area, just so you can get a little data to go in there. It's giving you a bit of an idea about what stuff sold for in the area, the asking price. And at the same time, it can be telling you roughly what it thinks other properties have been selling for in the area. Um, what they've got and their comparables. Within the comparables here, you can click in and you can click around the area to kind of see what other stuff is renting for and use that there. You can also jump and do exactly the same with the properties that are for sale to click around and try and see that what else is in this area. And this property is in Trouse, so we can have a look around the area in Trouse to see what kind of stuff is selling for there. And then on top of that, if you like any properties within this, so this is great if you're actually sourcing, you've stumbled across something you're really interested in, you can then save that property for later. That goes then into your own portal, which you can go and find on the property data website. You can also, if you want to do any more analysis on it, you can jump into your saved properties to see all the ones you like and do a whole load more research from there. This does, as you would expect, it works on... Uh, on the market. So if you were to jump into one of these, or even if you're going to be on Zoopla, 
and you were looking through there. Again, you can turn and see any property that's up for rent. It's got the history of a property that's going to be up for rent. Uh, sorry, that one was up for sale on, on the market. And you can still get all the same detail and level of information there. If you were on Zoopla, again, you can click in and then you'll be able to see, you should be able to see all of the property data information about this property coming up as well, just on the right-hand side. So, so that's the plug-in battle. Which one do you think won? You've got obviously got quite a few different choices there. If you were anything from the freebies, property log, property tracker, or address helper, Personally, if it was my choice out of those ones, I'd probably be jumping into Property Tracker and using the Address Helper if I don't want to pay anything. If I want to get the free version and get to be able to delve into a little bit of information once a month or every so often, Prop Bar looks like a great way to go. They do do a Prop Bar Plus plan as well. So if you want to have access to more information, then that would be excellent. But really, if you are using one of these tools, the main reason you're using it is to try and source and find deals as well. And that's why, as you know, I'm a massive advocate for Property Toolkit. If you do fancy trying Property Toolkit, then I would head over to their website. If you use the discount code, Zeb, that's going to give 50% off. That'll be 50% off your first month. You'll also get a 14 day free trial. So that's almost the equivalent of a month for free. If you look in my description below, there'll be a link that takes you straight over there to get you signed up for that. Hopefully, you'll find that useful. And um, hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any comments, drop them in the below. Hope you like this video and you subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you later, guys.